can you really factor x squared plus y squared? And this right here is the sum of two squares. Usually we cannot really factor it, but if you want to use complex numbers, then it's doable. Or if you want to break the rule, meaning that if you don't care about the result being a polynomial, then you can do it. So I will just show you guys, this is the first possibility. I will tell you with the i, all right? So here's the deal. We know the following. When we have, let's say, a squared minus b squared, the difference of two squares can easily be factored as a minus b times a plus b. And we're going to utilize this idea. So how can we do it though? This is the sum of two squares. Well, check this out. x squared is right here plus y squared. I really want to have a minus in between, so we can do the following. I'm going to keep this as x squared, and I really want to have a minus. Well, don't worry, the plus is the same as minus minus, yeah? And then we still have the y squared like this. So, so far I haven't changed anything too crazy. We're still in the real world. Negative times a negative gives us positive, sure thing. Now, in order for us to utilize this, we want something squared minus something squared. x squared, I can just enter that as x squared, no problem. Now, what square will give us negative 1? Well, that's where we have to use the i, because remember, by definition, i squared gives us negative 1. So I'm going to put on the y right, i right here, square that we get a negative 1. And then to get y squared, I just need to put on the y, square that, I get that. There you have it. We have this in this form. So let's go ahead, factor it, and we get x minus iy times x plus iy. Just like this. So that's the first way. Okay, we did use the uh, imaginary unit i. Okay. If you didn't like this too much, the next thing you're not going to like it either. But I will show you guys anyway. So this is how we are going to take care of this. And I'm not really going to call this factor in the usual sense. So I will just call this factor with the quotation mark. And I also say with square root. All right. The reason I said this right here is because, remember, when we want to say factoring, right, we want to break it down as a product of two polynomials with less degrees. If you have x and y in the square root, they are technically not polynomial anymore. Because if you don't follow this rule with polynomials, then you can do like a lot of weird things that you can factor x squared and then you get like x to negative 2 on the bottom. x to negative 2, but don't do that. And let me just demonstrate. So here we have a sum of two squares, x squared plus y squared. The more, the better. In the middle, I'm going to add, well, let's think about it. x squared plus y squared. If we have 2xy, then this is just a regular trinomial that we can factor. Yes. But of course, once we added this right here, we will have to subtract it right here, so that they are still equal. Now check this out. The first three terms, we can factor it and get x plus y squared. But this thing right here, the how is that again we take care of that though? Remember, if we can put this as something to the second power, then we can factor this as the difference of two squares. So let's do the game that we did earlier. We have a negative right here already, so we don't need to use the i, but for the two, what square will give us 2? Well, the answer for that is square root of 2. And then what square will give us x? The answer is square root of x, square. Likewise, square root of y, square will give us y. So in fact, we just had to put all these three things in here. Square root of 2xy, like that. Now, difference of two squares, we can use the formula again. So we get x plus y, the first term minus the second term from the inside here, times 
this right here x plus y and then plus square root of 2xy yeah like this now the most important questions to ask is that when is this useful to be honest i don't know but i just think that this is pretty interesting especially well i can tell you imagine if you are doing something like this but with a higher degree x to the fourth power plus y to the fourth power then in fact you wouldn't end up with square root of x square root of y so this approach is pretty cool when you have a higher degree but yeah yeah let me know what else to do would you like me to factor or anything anyways that's it